Hi guys. Well, I'm trying to practice with my selfie stick because over the weekend, or the weekend before last, rather, I tried to do a vlog and it just turned out terrible. And so I need all the practice I can get with this thing. I'm just not good at it. But I wanted to come on here today and do a tag video and also do a few announcements. I have a couple of tag videos I need to get to and I have uh, several request videos. So um, if I don't get to the video that you have requested in the next couple of weeks it is on my list so don't don't think that I have forgotten because I have not and uh, if I sound funny it's because I've had the flu and today is actually the first day that I have gotten out of bed and put on some makeup I could not stand the thoughts of my husband coming home to me wearing pajamas and looking like a hot mess <laughs> all these days. I have been in bed for three solid days. So um, I thought we would go on up to my filming room and uh, get to this tag video. But I wanted to say I'm really excited because um, I'm getting closer to a thousand subscribers and you know I'm planning the giveaway so please tell all your family and friends to subscribe and if you're watching now and you have not yet subscribed don't forget to do that and click the notification bell that would be amazing and I want to reach 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible Let's go on up to my filming room and get to the tag video. And the tag video today is the luxury items that did not quite work out for me. And I believe I was tagged by Irene uh, of Luxury Lover and she has an amazing channel. And I will link her channel below. And I'm pretty sure that Irene is the one that tagged me. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think this flu has definitely gotten the best of me, so um, forgive me if I'm wrong, Irene. Um, but we'll go on and go upstairs, and I'm trying to maintain control of the selfie stick. There is definitely an art to this, I'm telling you guys. So let's go ahead and get started on the tag video. This tag, video i had to really think about it because i have been buying luxury now for about 11 12 years and in the beginning in the early years you know um i wasn't really into it um i got my first couple of louis vuittons and um as i've told you guys before it's probably only been in the past couple years that i've bought from other fashion houses but I was always just uh, a Louis Vuitton lover and um, and so my very first Louis Vuitton bag that did not work out for me was the Bria I think it was the MM size and we were in Vegas and my husband bought me that bag for my birthday and you know I was trying to step out of the box and buy something different and um, when we got back to the hotel room, I just didn't feel good about it. I mean, if it were now, I would absolutely love that bag. But, you know, during that time, I was really into hobo bags and big tote bags. Now, I still love totes, but it just was too structured for me. And just the pink color, you know, uh, I would walk around in, in the hotel room, look in the mirror, and it just didn't seem to suit me it just didn't feel right on me so I told my husband we're gonna have to take this bag back so we did and I exchanged it for the artsy that you see up here in the corner the raisin and that is still actually on the website to this day so um, yeah I got a different uh, you know a different color I was trying to get something other than just the regular monogram because at that time I believe I had two Louis Vuitton bags and uh, but that bag did not work out for me I didn't really give it a chance I had it all of one day but it just didn't feel like me and it just didn't feel right so that was the first um, item that I ever bought that did not work out for me the second bag that did not quite work out for me and I did give it a chance because I actually had that bag for I think about three years and it was the artsy in the Damier 
Azure. And I have sold that bag. If you guys have been watching my channel, you may have seen my Artsy review where I have the two Empreinte leather bags and the Azure. Um, I will link that video below. But I don't know, I just think it was the combination of the Artsy and the Azure that just did not click for me because I absolutely love my Artsy bags and they are forever bags. I definitely will always have my Black Beauty and my Raisin Artsy, and, uh, but I did give it a chance and I bought it because I thought it would be a great summer and spring bag. And I tend to really, um, I like the Azure, but I like it better in a smaller bag. And I say that all the while I have a Neverfull GM in Azure and I like it. But so it really must be um, the artsy in that particular pattern that just did not click for me. So I did give it a chance, but I have since sold that bag because it just never really uh, did it for me. So that was the second item that did not work out for me. The third luxury item that did not work out for me um, was the Louis Vuitton Key Clay. Um, and I've told you guys before, I'm not really a collector of small leather goods. I have small leather goods, but I have the ones that I use. I don't have multiple, you know, pouches and multiple wallets and things like that because I would rather, um, save my money for a bigger purchase. Now, the small leather goods that I do have, I really like them and I really enjoy them. And I have said this before, there is nothing better than the Louis Vuitton toiletry bags. I have the 26 and I have the 19, and on my wish list this year is the 15, and I will hunt it down, and I will have that. But um, the, the little Louis Vuitton key clay, I ordered it because I thought, you know, that would be really cute, clipped on the side of my bag, it would be really handy, I could throw change in it, and you know, when I go through the drive-through, I'll have it ready i don't know i just thought that i would use it and i got it and um there were several things that i noticed right out of the box and i don't know if you guys know about issues about the key clay but mine was made in the usa and it was lopsided i mean it was very poorly made like the corner on one side was rounded and then the other side was like square. It, I mean, it just did not look good. And so I started doing some research and I read that the key clays that um, come from Paris um, and Spain, uh, usually, you know, they look better and they're shaped different. Now, if you guys have ever had um, any issues like this from the Made in USA key clays, you know, leave it in the comment below because I'm really curious uh, to hear what you guys have to say about that. But it just looked like it was cut wrong, like the um, canvas was cut wrong and it was sewn wrong. It was not even on both sides. So there was no way that I was gonna keep it. Um, and then, you know, I really didn't miss it because I don't think that I need it. Um, I just, uh, I didn't, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I didn't give it a chance because what it looked like straight out of the box, number one. But number two, um, you know, I thought about ordering another one, um, but then I thought it would might just have the same issue, but I really don't think I have a need for it. Um, I just have my little round coin purse and a small wallet, and like I said, I'm not really a huge small leather goods person anyway, so that was uh, the third item that did not work out for me. Item number four is the Hermes um, click clack in the extra large size. Um, I own the two of the Hermes click H bracelets, you know, the thinner one. And I have the white with gold and the orange, Hermes orange with the gold. And so I thought, oh, it would be so nice to have a black and palladium because I love to wear black and I thought it would really make a statement and be a beautiful statement piece. But to me, I thought it looked cheap. 
I mean, I just, it's, it's like super wide and I just think that it might be too much of a good thing, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, it just seemed bulky and clunky and, you know, when I put it on, I knew um, that even if I went out to dinner wearing it, it would constantly be hitting the table. It was just a really big piece of jewelry. And I do love big, bold jewelry, but that thing was really heavy. And I don't know, I wore it around the house trying to think, you know, see if I could get a feel for it, but it just bothered me. So I sent that one back. So that did not work out for me. Item number five, you guys that watch me regularly might have a little laugh about this because I recently ordered uh, the Chloe Susanna boots in the black and gold and I absolutely love them and um, I thought you know I'm just gonna get the white pair I would love the white pair for the spring and summer and um, so I did I ordered them and when I got them I just didn't love the white ones I am so surprised myself because I do have some white booties that I absolutely love um, and I think they are Sam Edelman, but I did not love the Chloe Susanna boots in the white. It was the white and the silver combination. And um, I know that uh, I would like to have a second pair, but I think now I'm just going to hold off and try to find them on sale because they're super expensive. Um, but um, it's funny because when I put when I opened them and I saw them straight out of the box, they were really pretty. But when I put them on, um, I just did not fall in love like I did with the black and gold combination. So the Chloe Susanna and the white and silver combination definitely um, was a disappointment for me. Those are the only luxury items that I can think of that did not quite work out for me. I have bought a few Louis Vuitton bracelets here and there and gifted them to my daughter and my daughter-in-law, things like that. Not because they didn't work out for me, just because, you know, I want them to have nice things. But um, yeah, uh, most of the time I do plan out my purchases. Sometimes I buy things, you know, on a whim as uh, my Fendi backpack when we were in Greece I saw it and I just fell in love with it so that was uh, purchased on a whim but it definitely worked out I absolutely have enjoyed that bag but um, yeah um, that is all that comes to mind you guys I know that I sound so funny and uh, when I watch the video back it doesn't even sound like me I know I sound really stopped up but I wanted to video uh, do a video over the weekend but I was in bed all weekend so I hate to go much longer than this before I put one out because I have quite a few uh, good videos coming up and uh, oh and before I end this video um, I'll show you my latest piece of artwork. Back to the selfie stick. So I thought we would just head on over to uh, my studio because this painting, I just completed it and it's still wet and it is still on the easel and it will be there for a while. So we'll just go on over there and I will show you guys what I painted. Um, the painting that I just completed, I did for someone very, very special for Valentine's Day, and that person happens to be my husband. And what I did, I painted a portrait of his father. Now, my husband's dad was also an artist and portrait painter, and he had taken pictures of himself um, and he planned to um, he planned to um, do this particular portrait of himself. So sadly, he was never able to do that because he did pass away. But um, I thought that I would do it myself. I kind of had that in mind to do for quite a while, but I finally just did it. So um, let me show you guys what I did. Now this is my studio. It's kind of a mess. And, you know, artists are known for being messy, but I'm not really a super messy artist. Now, I can show you my table. I guess I am. It's kind of a mess. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So, um, this is the portrait, and this is the photograph. So, um, 
I think it turned out pretty good. It captured him and he's holding his paintbrush and I feel like it's really special. Now I have a five year plan because uh, I have been painting for a while, but I am a, a intermediate portrait painter. So I plan to paint this painting every year for the next five years so I can actually gauge my uh, progress. And uh, I'm no John Singer Sargent, but um, I do feel like I captured him and my husband was very pleased with it. So that is my most recent piece of artwork. So I hope you guys like it. That's all I have for you guys this week. Now don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Help me reach 1,000 subscribers. Give me a thumbs up and click the notification bell. And I will be filming again Saturday. Possibly I will put up another video on Sunday or Monday. I'll do my best. I'm playing catch up. And like I said, if your requested video does not show up for a few weeks, uh, don't think that I have forgotten because I have quite a few videos planned coming up. So don't, so don't think that I have forgotten. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.